Hi, I'm Brody with Smart Spaces, and this is our how-to guide of how to build a Murphy bed, step-by-step, -step detailed. First of all, we're going to start with the list of tools that you need, the materials that will be provided for you, and then step-by-step, -step, how to install everything, put it together. And we'll start with our bed cabinet, our mattress apparatus, also known as the panel, how to attach the bed, and then all of the how-to guides for specific tips just to make sure everything goes smoothly. At any time, you'll be able to refer to any of the chapters for any specific step that you will need. So if you have any questions, you can just refer back into the chapters. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the tools needed to complete the task is battery-powered drill, stud finder, tape measure, half-inch ratchet, half-inch open-end wrench, 716 open-end wrench, 3 8 open end wrench, 3 16 drill bit, a 6 inch number 2 square bit, a number 2 Phillips bit, Phillips screwdriver, rubber mallet, and ladder. Complete materials list for your cabinet. This would be the left vertical with included solo clip and cam bolts and spring mechanism. Right vertical with the aforementioned solo clips, cam bolts, spring mechanism. This is the front toe kick with the P-cam, top nailer with the P-cam, the back bottom toe kick, the top back nailer, Two pieces of three and a quarter inch trim, top plate, headboard with the PCAM system. So the, we're going to start assembling the box here. For this, you're going to need your, your screwdriver and your drill with the uh, six inch number two square bit. So Chris is bringing down the right side vertical right now. You'll notice this is where the female end of your Rayfix or your, um, your solo clip is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to insert the top plate into the left side, excuse me, the right side vertical. You'll notice that it does have the male end and the female solo clip. They just insert like that. You will take your Phillips screwdriver Go about half to three quarter of a turn till it tightens up. And that's how that inserts just like that. So then we're going to repeat with the left side vertical. Once again, taking the male end of the solo clip into the female end. Half turn to three quarter turn. And that's assembled. Next step is the front nailer. Now you'll notice the structure that the top nailer has. It has a single P cam and a single cam bolt. And this is right on top of the top plate of your bed. The cam bolt inserts into the P cam. You will go a half to a three quarter of a turn and insert it in that way. Okay, so for this process, you take an inch and a quarter pan head screw into the pocket screw groove right here, and you will screw right into the top plate there, making sure that the front, the underneath side of the nailer is nice and flush with the front of the top plate. And we will repeat with every groove. So for this section, we will take our three and a quarter inch piece of trim face down, insert it right on the inside of the bed and then we will work it up right in front of the nailer and basically all we're going to do here is we're going to just flush up the top of the trim right to the top of the nailer here and you will repeat that process 
just for three more screws. Flush it nice all the way across. So the next piece that we're going to install is the top back nailer. And you will denote this piece specifically, not only with the two P cams in the back of the top plate, but also with the pocket screws that we'll insert into the back of, top, of said top plate. The P cam will go around the cam bolt about a half turn again, and then we'll take our pinhead screw into our pocket screw groove and tighten up. Okay, so the next step here is Chris is going to install the front toe kick. Again, denoted by the two P cams with the cam bolts, two cam bolts right in the front there. Using just the half turn. As he does that, of course, just like in the top, you're going to have another piece of three quarter inch trim, three and a quarter inch trim, go in the front of that. Lay it on the ground, face down, and then insert it right in front of that toe kick. And then he's going to leave about a sixteenth of an inch overhang of the trim right at the end of the nailer. And then Chris is just going to screw that into place. The final piece on the bottom here is the back nailer. It is again denoted by the two P cams and the cam bolts. But notice that the P cams are actually a little further apart than the, your front nailer. Not only that, it is about two inches taller. He's just inserting that, turning the P-cam, and that is in. And this is one of those pieces where it's definitely helpful to have two guys. This is the headboard piece. We're showing you the back just to denote the P-cam that is closest to the edge is actually the top. And this actually helps to have two guys here. What we'll do is we'll swing this in just like this into the P-cam, tightening up. And noting again the difference of the distance with the two P-cams, the shorter distance is actually your top. All right. This is the construction of the bed box. Okay, so Chris and I at this point, we're going to stand the bed up, up to the wall where this is actually going to be installed in your home. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump on a ladder and we're going to take three angle brackets and attach the bed cabinet to the wall. Now the very important part about this aspect is that the angle brackets have to have at least three points of contact into the stud and then down into the top of the bed. Your hardware is provided with our, set, our kit with this. So Chris is gonna jump up here. Okay, so what Chris is doing here is he's using this stud finder to locate a stud using an angle bracket. So what Chris is gonna do, he's located a stud, he's gonna take a two and a half inch screw, screw it through the angle bracket, He's going to do that a second time. And then with a 5 8 inch pan head, he's going to go down into the top of the cabinet box. What you're definitely going to want to do, and I cannot stress this enough, is you need three points of contact onto three different studs. Our mechanism is a spring arm mechanism. And there's actually a lot of torque that is involved when bringing the panel down, which is our next step. So making sure that proper installation to the wall, nice and snug, nice and tough, is extremely important. So the third step of our instructional video 
is the construction of the front panel. This is a four panel bed this way. So you have four panels that'll lay down flat like this. If you wouldn't mind bringing the rest of those down. Uh, the tools needed for this is a half inch ratchet, a half inch open end wrench, a 7 16 open inch wrench, and a 3 8 of an inch open, to open end wrench. Rubber mallet, number two Phillips bit, and a 6 inch number two square bit. So the first thing that Chris and I are going to do is we're going to lay out the pieces of the actual frame. Long pieces on the long side, short pieces on the short side. The way that the frame is actually attached to itself is a series of angle brackets and 3 8 screws with 3 8 nuts. At this point, you will need your number two Phillips bit and your 3 8 inch open end wrench. Now that we've taken the four panels and laid them face down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the, um, the metal frame around the panels. In doing so, you will have an angle bracket and a series of 3 8 inch screws. You will have three pan head screws and one bugle head that has a cylinder wrapped around it. Take two of your pan heads at the top on the front and the top of the side. Insert the angle bracket on the inside of the frame and finger tighten two of the 3 8 inch nuts. Your final pan head is going to go on the bottom top. And then the longer bugle head with the cylinder is going to go on the outside of the long part of your panel. This actually is going to act as the resting point of the leg system that exists at the foot of your panel. So with our 3 8 inch open end rent and our number two Phillips bit, we're going to go ahead and just tighten this all together. So in this chapter, what we've done here, we've completely constructed the metal frame. We've laid out our panels to where they're nice and flush at the top and bottom, and there are no gaps in between each panel. At this point, what Chris and I are going to do is we're going to measure from the bottom area here an inch and a quarter. So what you're looking for here, this is the bottom of the bed or the head. And you're going to measure that from the edge of the frame to the edge of your panel at an inch and a quarter, just like that. Chris is going to do the same thing on his side. Now, as soon as we're both at right at an inch and a quarter, we're going to split the difference on the edge. And that is going to make that right around 15 sixteenths of an inch. So, because your measurements are so imperative, I like to check them three or four times before I run a screw into the panel. So 15 sixteenths of an inch on this side and that side, inch and a quarter. And then you'll take your 5 8 pan head screw. Then we're going to put our screw in right on the center of the screw area on the corner of the frame. One thing to watch out for is you're going to want to make sure that that screw sits right in the center of that hole so that your frame doesn't move when you go to put your screw in. That way you don't mess up your measurements. And since we put that in, we're going to go back and recheck. And yep, I am at an inch and a quarter at the bottom, and a perfect 15 sixteenths right on the edge. At 
And then we're just going to repeat the same step up here. The difference is, is that you won't need the inch and a quarter at the top. We're just going to go again right around 15 16 of an inch on either side because we know that that's going to be square on the panels. I'm going to go ahead and insert the 5 8 pan head right now. Chris will do the same thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stay at the foot of the bed and we're going to flush up all four panels to each other. So using your rubber mallet just to tap as needed, you'll notice that panel one and panel two are nice and flush. So I'll just take our five inch pan head screw or our frame screw. Insert one in that corner. And I'll do the same here. Panel one and two are now flush with each other. And then we're just going to continue down until we hit this end. And then we'll just flush up panel three and four together. Nice and flush. So then what Chris will do is he will do the same thing on the opposite side at the head of the bed. So at this point, we have all four corners of all four panels screwed in and they're set. So the next step is installing your Velcro straps that actually strap your sheets and your pillows onto the mattress. So you got the two sides here on the fuzzy side. You take your 5 8 screw and your washer you just go through. On the inside of the panel, you will locate the third hole right here. One, two, three. And then just insert that right there. You will take the back side of this piece of the Velcro. Insert that. And then on that side, of the panel, Chris. We'll locate the third hole. And insert the strap. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert all the screws all the way around. And then there's a series of two stiffeners that go across the panels. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to take the remainder of all of your frame screws and you're going to put in every screw. One thing to note, if a hole exists real close to one of the edges of your frame, uh, of your panels, you might want to omit that screw just so you don't have a blowout issue. You're going to have more than enough points right here with your screws that that's not really going to make much of a difference. For this step, you're going to need your 7 16 inch wrench, your half inch socket, your half inch uh, open end wrench. What we're going to do first is we're going to insert the leg system into the foot part of your panel. You have a series of three washers. The first washer is just a nylon washer. It's really thin. It goes onto the leg and it acts as a lubricating agent right in between the two metal pieces of the leg and the frame. The second washer you're going to put on is a form-fitting washer. 
basically f goes right on the outside part of the frame of the foot protruding into the frame. And then your final washer covers everything up. We'll use your half inch nut. And then you'll just use your half inch ratchet. That's one side. Chris is going to go ahead and do the other side. So then what we're going to do is we're going to insert the leg um, post right here. This is your 7 16 inch bolt. We're going to add just a little bit of Loctite to either side of those. Goes on the outside of the leg here into the fitting inside of the bar. With a 7 16 open end wrench, we'll just go ahead and snug everything up. And for the final part of this chapter, we're going to insert two of the three bolts needed per side for when we go to, for when we go to insert the panel into the bed. There is a series of three bolts. One, two, three. We're going to put two of those bolts in now. At your bottom bolt, we're going to use a carriage bolt. The carriage side or the mushroom side, it's going to be on the outside of the frame. So with this bolt, there's a regular half inch nut that we are going to just finger tight three or four turns till it's flush to the end of the bolt. Skipping the center hole, we're going to take the powder coated covered half inch bolt, insert into the top, and then the nut that goes onto that actually has a nylon fitting. So it's a self-tightening nut. You're going to take your open end half inch wrench and your half inch ratchet and give it a good three or four turns until once again the nut is flush with the end of the bolt. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. Okay, so for this step, we're going to set our spring mechanism. What you're going to do is you'll see that you have the arm of your spring mechanism. What this needs to do is you take your PVC pipe and you insert it over the leg. Pardon me, over the arm. You're going to pull that back, reach around it, and you'll notice there's a locking mechanism that rests right on the top nut. Okay, so right before we load the panel into the bed, the real important part is understanding where the two bolts actually attach to the frame mechanism. By the two bolts, I mean the ones that are already in your panel. Your top bolt is going to fit right into here. It's going to fit right into this groove bolt and then the mushroom end of your carriage bolt is going to fit on the outer side of that groove right there. So you can think of that as kind of the aft to the pullback of the actual panel and the arm working all in unison. Chris and I are going to go ahead and insert this. Basically what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to fit the bottom of this panel in and above the toe kick and then work yourself back up in unison, putting the bolt in here and making sure that the carriage bolt fits in behind here. Okay, so before we insert this, one quick tip I want to reiterate. The reason why we didn't completely tighten up those bolts is because you want to be able to have some slack in between the frame and the spring arm mechanism so that your bolts can fit in there. You can see how Chris on his side has just pushed those out. I just did the same on mine. We're gonna go ahead and pick up we're missing the toe kick. We're picking it up and inserting the bottom first, missing the toe kick. We're right in between the spring arms and we've captured both bolts on both sides. Okay, so basically the final step of inserting this panel is you just want to tighten up 
the top bolt for right now. Kind of get it nice and fixed in. Just make it nice and snug. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the panel down and we're gonna go ahead and sit on it because without the counterweight of the mattress, your panel is, is actually a catapult. So we talked about a three bolt system earlier. This is where the third bolt goes into play. You'll see there's one more area for a bolt to go in. This is called our safety bolt. This basically just keeps the frame from moving freely in and out of the spring arm. Chris has inserted that, and now he's just gonna tighten up the two remaining bolts, and then your spring neck is completely tied in to the frame, and you have one working system now. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just put the panel into the box. You'll notice at this point, we've taken one rectangle and we've put it into another rectangle. At this point, what we're gonna do is Chris is just gonna kick the bottom of this real quick, nice and easily. And at this point, we have squared up this rectangle with the outside rectangle. Nice and even all the way around the margins. So at this point, what we're gonna do is Chris is gonna draw out the handles for the panel. He's measuring the distance from one end to the other. Now our standard is basically 21 from the top, two inches from the center. And with that, we're basically gonna put two handles in the center that way. Now, the configuration for your handles can vary drastically. Some people have put them, just a single one, right up top at, at the top here. Um, you know, we've had people hang art from their handles, things like that. You can, if you've got a really large handle, something that exceeds maybe 10 inches long, they like to put them out a little wider, kind of, you know, gives you a sense of symmetry and evens everything out for you. But for this purpose, Chris is just going 21 inches down, two inches from the center, and then this is a five inch handle. So Chris is gonna drill those real quick. And all Chris is using at this point is a 3 16 inch bit. Okay. So again, this is kind of one of those situations where it's really handy to have two guys because one guy can set the screws while the other guy holds the handle while one guy screws it in. And then just now the second one. So the final step in the process is the overall purpose of the Murphy bed, and that's the mattress. Chris is just taking the panel down. Now what we're gonna do is the Velcro straps that we installed earlier, we're just gonna bring those out. Mattress goes on top. At this point, you can go ahead and make your bed up. You can put your pillows underneath right here at the, uh, at the foot of the bed and strap everything in place. Put the strap over, put the legs in. and you're in business with completion of the Murphy bed. So in conclusion, we've gone through the construction top to bottom of the bed panel, the bed cabinet, the tools needed to complete each task and the proper way to do it, and helpful tips for you to do it yourself. Or, now remember, at any point, you can refer back to any specific chapter in this instructional video so you can go through the process step by step yourself once again. If you have any other questions, please refer back to www.smartspaces.com for a specific link to this video. Thank you.